Hi guys, Felicia White here. Today I'm continuing my series on The Power by Rhonda Byrne. So we're on part 22 and it starts with the key of play. There's one certain way you can make yourself feel better about any subject in your life and that is to create games with your imagination and play. Play is fun and so when you play you feel really good. At some point we stop playing and having fun like we did as children with the result that we came as become with the result that as we became adults, we became more serious about life. But seriousness brings serious circumstances into your life. I'm sorry, I'm getting so tongue-tied. When you play and have fun, you feel really good and viola. Really good circumstances come into your life. Life is supposed to be fun. Play with the law of attraction. Invent games with your imagination because the law of attraction doesn't know or care if you're imagining or and playing or if it is real. Whatever you give an, an imagination and feeling will become real. How do you play? You do the same thing as you did when you were a child and you use your imagination to create make-believe games. Let's imagine you're a cyclist and you want to become the best cyclist in the world and win the Tour de France. Your training is going well and you have your dream in your sights but you are diagnosed with the disease and given a 40% chance to survive. While having treatment, you imagine you are riding in the Tour de France and it is the race of your life. You imagine the medical staff is your training team, giving you feedback at every checkpoint. Every day, or each day, you imagine you're racing in a time trial and your time is getting better and better. You win the race with your medical team and you overcome the disease. One year after you win back your health, you win the Tour de France and you continue to win it seven years in a row, becoming the only cyclist in history to achieve that. That is what Lance Armstrong did. He used the most difficult circumstances as props to create an imaginary game and realize his dream. Let's say you want to have the best built body in the world and you also want to become a famous actor in America. You live in a tiny, tiny village in Europe and come from a family that has struggled financially, but still you imagine your dreams. You use a picture of a hero to sculpt your body and you imagine winning the European, European title for the best built body. You win the title seven times and then it is time to become a famous actor. You travel to America, but no one believes you are, an act, you are actor material and they give you all the reasons why you will never achieve your dream. But you have imagined being a famous actor and you can feel the success, you can taste it, and you know it will happen. That is what Arnold Schwarzenegger did when he won Mr. Olympia seven times and then became one of the biggest names in Hollywood. Imagine you want to be a great inventor. In your childhood, your mind is challenged to the extreme. You are overwhelmed with hallucinations and blinding flashes of light. You fail to finish university and leave your job due to a nervous, nervous breakdown. To gain relief from the crippling hallucinations, you take control of your mind by creating your own imaginary world. Inspired by the idea of a brighter future, you direct your imagination to new inventions. You build an invention completely in your imagination. You change the construction, make improvements, and even operate the device without ever drawing a sketch. You create a laboratory in your mind and you use your imagination to check the new invention for wear and tear before turning your idea into a physical device. This is what Nikola Tesla did to become one of the greatest inventors. Whether it was the alternating current motor, radio amplifier, wireless communication, fluorescent light, laser beam, remote control, or any of his other 300 plus patented inventions. All of them had been developed in exactly this way, through the power of his imagination. Whatever it is you want, use your imagination, create games, and play. Use every prop you can find to help you. If you want to lose weight or have a better body, then create games so you feel as though you have that body now. You can surround yourself with pictures of great bodies, but the trick is this. You must imagine those bodies are yours. You must imagine and feel that you are looking at your body, not somebody else's body. If you are overweight or underweight and you have the perfect weight right now, how would you feel? You would feel different from how you feel now. Everything about you would change. You would walk differently, talk differently, and you would do things differently. Walk like that now. 
Talk like that now. Act as if you have it now. It doesn't matter what it is that you want. Imagine how you would feel with it and act like that now in your imagination. Whatever you imagine with feeling, you are giving to the law of attraction and you must receive it. Lance Armstrong, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Nikola Tesla, all these people played with their imaginations and felt their dreams with all their heart. Their imagination, imaginings became so real to them, they could feel their dreams and know they would happen. It doesn't matter how far away your dream seems to you. It is closer to you than anything in your life because all the because all the power to bring your dream to you is inside you. In the future, we will see more and more discoveries about the power of our imagination. Already, scientists have discovered special mirror cells that activate the same areas in the brain when you imagine doing something as when you physically perform the action. In other words, simply by your plain and imagining what you want to experience, your brain immediately responds as if it were real. If you're talking about something in the past or in the future, you're imagining those things now. You're feeling those things now. You're on that frequency now. And that is, that's what the law of attraction is receiving. When you're imagining your dream, the law of attraction is receiving it now. Remember, there's no time for the law of attraction. There's only this moment of now. If you experience a time delay in receiving what you want, it's only because of the time it takes you to get on the same feeling frequency that your desire is on. And to get onto the same frequency as your desire, you have to feel the love of having your desire now. When you get yourself onto the same feeling frequency and stay there, what you desire appears. When you are really excited about anything that has happened and you feel amazing, capture that energy and imagine your dream. Quick flashes of imagining and feeling your dream are all you need to harness the power of your excited feelings for what you want. This is plain. This is fun. This is the joy of creating your life. So um, that concludes part uh, 22 of The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Go ahead and like, share, and comment below. And click the link in the blog post below to grab your copy of The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Thanks so much for tuning in. See ya. Bye.